Gretchen and welcome back to my channel. It's time for a, another Stitch Fix unboxing video. For May's Stitch Fix box, I asked for, I kept it very basic what I asked for. I was like, just send me rompers, send me some flowy tank tops, maybe a pair of distressed jeans. And my stylist this month definitely came through on that. My stylist this month's name is Amanda and she sent me some great items. She sent me a pair of distressed jeans. She sent me a romper. She sent me a dress and she sent me two tank tops. I really like everything in this box. Again, I am trying very hard to stick to my rule of only purchasing one item in a box especially if I'm not feeling it. I used to do this thing where it was like, oh, well, I like four items out of the box, so it's just cheaper if I go ahead and get that fifth item. No more of that. Can't be throwing away money like that these days. So I am only keeping one item from this box. I already know what item it is. Sometimes I'm torn between two. This one was just a clear winner. So yeah, let's just get into it. I'm gonna end this video with the item that I'm keeping. So I'm gonna go through the items that I'm not keeping first and then we'll finish up with the one that I am keeping. So we'll start off with the one item that I knew for sure that I wasn't gonna keep, and that is this pair of distressed skinny jeans from the company Democracy. These are the Jerry Distressed Skinny Jeans. I had asked for skinny jeans, that's all I ever wear anymore, skinny jeans, and I had asked for some distressed ones. These do have some distressing to them, but not nearly the amount that I like. I like the whole grunge, torn the F up look. This isn't it. I did like how these feel. They have an elastic band. I don't know how I feel about those. <laughs> Other than the elastic band, these jeans felt really good. They're soft and they're buttery. It does talk about how these are like mold and hold and boost your assets. I mean, I don't got a booty, so I don't know what it's going to be holding. These are size two, which did make me feel good, but then they are elastic jeans. So I'm like, are they really twos? Can't really tell. But on the back side, they're just very plain Jane. No distressing on the back, a little bit on the front. Nothing wrong with these jeans. They're just not my taste. I like how they felt. They weren't really skinny enough either because if you notice in the try on video, they don't cling to my ankle. They kind of have a little bit of a gap in them. So I didn't like that as much. I like a whole lot more distressing, not so much just like, you know, where you cut into it. These also retail for $78. And again, because they just aren't my style, I couldn't justify spending $78 on them. But if you yourself are interested, again, these are by the company Democracy. They're the Jerry Distressed Skinny Jeans. These are size two and they fit very nicely. They do have the elastic band. They are a little bit higher waisted. They come like not quite above my belly button, but they came like halfway point. So they're not like low, rise jeans, they're, but they're not also high rise, they're, they're that mid rise. So these are the first items that I'm definitely sending back. The next item that I'm sending back pains me because I love this company, but it's this dress by Market and Spruce. It's the Genie Ruffle detail dress. When I first saw this, I was like, I love this. I love this print. I just realized it's inside out. I was wondering why I was muted. Okay, there we go. Much better. A little bit more vibrant. I absolutely loved this color scheme. I love how red pops with blue. I love the flowers. I'm pretty sure they're poppies, right? Pretty sure they're poppies. I love this. It just did not look good on me. At least I didn't think it did. It looked very boxy. Even with around the waist, there is a tie. You tie it in the back. So here's the front right here. It comes across the front, but then you tie it off in the back. Even with the cinched waist, it just didn't look that great on me. I did like the length. I love how it feels. It's very flowy. I like the little bit of ruffle on the neckline. It just didn't look good on me for some reason. And I, I don't know why. I don't know if maybe it's because I do have broader shoulders and it kind of accentuated it a little bit. I don't know. But as much as I wanted to like this dress, it didn't look good. If it didn't look good, it didn't look good. This is a size small and it does retail for $68. So also a little bit pricier. These are the priciest items in this box for a pair of jeans as well as this dress. Again, this would have been a really good work dress for me but it just made me feel very boxy and I, I don't like that feel. I don't like that look. It made me sad. It made me sad. The next item kind of confuses me now that I look at it. The receipt says it's by Daniel Rain, but the top itself and as well as the little like style guide says it's by Pale Sky. So I'm gonna assume it's Pale Sky because that's what the tag says on the shirt. 
but the receipt says Daniel Rain. But the name of it is all the same. So this top is by Pale Sky, and it is the Quinn Keyhole Crochet Top. Now, if you have been watching my Stitch Fix videos for a while, you know how much I love crochet detailing, so it pains me to send this one back. It just didn't wow me. Like when I wore it, I just was like, all right, this is cute, but it's like, meh, I don't know. It is an off-white color. It is sleeveless. So you have like the little keyhole front right here, but then on the back side you have all of this gorgeous crocheting down the back with like a little slit right at the bottom. I mean, this is gorgeous. I love this so much. I'd wear an entire top made out of this if I could. I will say it's a little obnoxious because it does have like these two little elastic bands on the back, these two little buttons, and you do have to latch them together in order for it to close because otherwise, there's no give here, and if you got a big head like me, you can't get it through there without getting makeup everywhere. So that was a little bit of a pain, but not enough to truly hate this top. This top is like two different fabrics. The front fabric is kind of a linen, like a thin linen fabric. There's absolutely no stretch, but on the back side is more like t-shirt material. It's a whole lot of stretch to it. It's very breathable, very soft. So it's kind of interesting that it's two different fabrics, which is fine, I liked it, but it just, when it was on me, it didn't wow me, which is a shame because I love the crochet. Very flowy though, very breathable. This is a size small and I believe it retails for $64. It doesn't say it on the tag. It says it on the receipt that it retails for $64, but it has the wrong company name. So I don't know if like they just have similar tops. I'm gonna assume it's $64 because that's what it says on the receipt. So Pale Sky though, not Daniel Rain, like the receipt says. Very confused. Alas, as cute as this is, it's just not giving me the wow factor. And the fourth item that I am sending back, which I was kind of torn on because I do like this one a lot. It is the cheapest thing in the box. But again, I'm trying to stick to that rule of only keeping one item. And that is this little top by Paper Moon, which I also love. And it is the Alaria Keyhole Knit Top. This thing is so breathable, so soft, feels so good, and it's so flowy. I mean, I love the color scheme of about it. I was a little confused because the front and the back are the exact same. There's a keyhole in the front, keyhole in the back, the straps are all the same. The only way you can tell which way is the back is because there is a little tag on the inside. That was the only way I could tell that that was the back. I love this. I probably could have gone down to an extra small with this because it is very flowy and very stretchy. For a more fitted look, I probably could have done an extra small on this. This does retail for $34. Again, I'm just, I'm trying to stick to my rule of only buying one item and the item that I am gonna keep, I just love so much. So unfortunately, I will be sending this back, but really and truly other than the size and I didn't see anything wrong with this. I love this kind of strap. You would want to wear a strapless bra with it just because your bra straps would be showing. Unless you're going for that look, then that's fine. But I love the color scheme. It's got navy, coral, white, teal, a lot of fun summer colors in there and a lot of colors I like. So I'm sad to send this one back. And now for the item that I am keeping. This is the romper by the company Kaylee and it is called the Kini Knit romper. I love this thing. It feels so good on. It's so flowy. It's so cute. This is navy. It's not black. I can't tell if the camera is actually showing that or not, but it is navy with white polka dots. Very summery. It's shorts down here and then three quarter length sleeves. I love this thing. The waist is elastic. A lot of stretch to it. It has pockets. Can't beat that. It does have this little button right here on the front part to where the v-neck is. Make sure that everything's hidden down here. It has a little tie in the front right here. You don't have to untie it because this is elastic. I, I mean, for all I know, it's just decoration. and doesn't actually serve a purpose. But I love everything about this romper. It's the perfect summer romper. This is what I've been looking for. Love this so much. Nailed it, out of the park with this one. And this retails for $54. So not the cheapest thing in the box, but also not the most expensive. So this is my one item that I'm keeping. So that being said, for the entire box, if I were keeping it, the total would come to $298. If I bought all five items, saved that 25%, it would take $74 off. And it would end up being like $223.50. But I am not doing that. I am only keeping the romper, which is $54. And I have a promo of $25 off because someone signed up with my link. So thank you so, so much 
for doing that. So my grand total for this whole fix will be $29, which is amazing for a fantastic romper. $29 for that, heck yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm sad to be sending a few of these items back, especially that last top that I showed you. I loved that thing, but I love this romper so much more. <sighs> I can't wait to wear it this summer. Let me know in the comments below what items were your favorite. Not gonna hurt my feelings if you don't say the romper because the romper's going on me. This was also fix number 37 for me. Hard to believe that we are pushing 40 at this point. I will have my referral link in the description below. If you yourself are interested in signing up for Stitch Fix, I would strongly suggest signing up through my link because it does help me continue with these videos in order to make those purchases and make those style passes worth it. So that's in the description below. Hopefully I'll actually be able to go out this summer and wear this and not just wear it around my house to look cute. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big ol' thumbs up. Go on down there and hit that subscribe button wherever it may be because I don't know, even though I do, this is just my shtick now. Also hit that notification bell in case you wanna know what I upload and in case YouTube wants to let you know when I upload because I would really appreciate it. And until next time, bye guys. Mm -hmm.